Last year, people watched over 4.4 billion hours of porn on Pornhub. Okay, so that's what DP means. That translates to about 6.7 thousand visits every second. So can you be addicted to porn? But pornography, um, it really, really messed up my life. Well, lawmakers in Utah are calling porn a public health crisis. Basically, porn is the enemy, and they want you to beat it. Wait, no. I believe that um, pornography today is like uh, tobacco was 70 years ago. I happen to believe that it is addictive and it is harmful. Utah is the country's number one consumer of online porn. But Utah lawmakers want that to change. Some of those defending pornography apparently do not understand the ugly, perverse, insidious nature of today's pornography. A new resolution in Utah's legislature says porn exposes children to sexuality, normalizes violence and abuse of women, and can even be biologically addictive. It changes the way you think about people. People become objects. But is there any hard science to back that up? Not really. Though certain nonprofits like Fight the New Drug, like in Porn Addiction to Drug Addiction, it can rewire the brain, form addictions, and reshape society as a whole. Some studies suggest that access to porn can actually benefit relationships and even reduce the number of sex crimes. Basically, if you're obsessed with porn, it's not really the porn's fault. There's no doubt that porn can negatively affect your life. If day turns into night and you are still watching, you probably got a problem. But porn is most harmful when it replaces sexual education altogether. Unfortunately, the Utah lawmakers unanimously moving to censor porn have also moved to maintain abstinence-only sex ed, despite two-thirds of Utahns wanting comprehensive sex ed. So Utah is the horniest state by far, but Utahns have no idea what to do about it. Sure, there's a lot of really, really, really bad porn. Just shut up and whip out your strokey balls. Dig at you. Now let's have sex while I whisper racist comments in your ear. But it isn't public health crisis bad. Limiting access to proper sex ed is. Utah's gonorrhea rates are up more than 700%. This is your mic check. For the love of God, please take this down.